All right, so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to talk about <clears throat> these seven deals. So a slot deal is a sandwich lease option transaction. Um, what I want to do first is I want to talk about the most obvious secret. Oh, boy. I had this happen before. Uh, my screen is not working. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, uh, it's called an option. Okay. So this is, this is the most obvious thing that people don't pay attention to. Okay. Make sure he got in. Okay, good. And I'm going to explain this. Uh, it takes a couple minutes, but I'm going to explain it. So what happens is if you had, say, in the stock market, a stock called Apple, and that stock costs $400 per share to buy, okay? And you don't have $400. You, you don't want to spend that money. What happens is, is in the stock market, you can buy an option. So instead of buying the, uh, buying the share for $400, you can buy the right to sell that share, the right to sell this share for $10, okay? So if you paid $400, right, with the option of $10, okay, and this stock goes up, to say $450, you paid $10 to have the right to sell that stock and at $400, but the stock went up to 450. So because you have this option, you can sell this stock at 450 and make $50. Minus your $10 for the fee means you made $40. You didn't have to pay $400 to buy and sell that stock. If this stock goes down to say 375, you don't have to buy the share for 375. You just lose your $10. So the only thing you're risking here is the $10. So if the if you if you bought an option for 400 and tomorrow the price went up to 450, <clears throat> you make $40. If you bought the option, the rights to this option for $10 and it went down to 375, you don't have to buy that option. You just lose your right to, to, to sell for $10. Or you wait till the next day and hope it goes back up again. Okay. So that's an option. It's the right to buy. Okay. Right to buy, horrible writing, right to buy. Okay, so all you're doing is buying the rights to control this. Okay, so here's the interesting thing, is in real estate, if you got a $200,000 house, what I do is I buy the rights for $100. Now, the law says <clears throat> you need to use consideration. You have to procure the deal with consideration. Consideration means paper money. See, the United States government, the Constitution says that we can't print paper money. That's a whole other story. So you could use $1 to buy this. Some people use, like Pete uses $10. But I use $100. I use $100. I feel like it's more professional. So I'm buying the rights to sell this property for $200,000. For $100, I have the right to buy or sell this property. And if I promise the customer $200,000, any price above that. If for some reason you bring this mar this house to the market and it's not worth two hundred thousand, 
all you're jeopardizing is your $100 or your $10 or your $1. If you bring this house to the market and you sell it for $220,000, you make $20,000. Okay, now watch this. If you have a house, okay, and we'll say it's worth uh, 200K, and this is your um, seller. And then this is your buyer. And this is you. And you do, like I said, you call someone up on the phone on a rent to own, because this is a slot deal. This is a sandwich lease option transfer, okay? And this guy says that I want to, I want to, he's willing to give you an option agreement for $200,000. And let's say his payments just, just for mathematical reasons is a thousand dollars. So he's willing to sell for 200 K and a thousand dollars a month. That's the option that you sign right here. And you give him $100 to have the right to do this. <clears throat> you go find a buyer that's willing to pay $210,000 and $1,000 a month. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this option and you're gonna assign it with one document. Actually, let me put that here. You're gonna assign it, assign this deal to your buyer. Your buyer is gonna give you $10,000 down. That's option, that's considered uh, non-refundable option agreement because they're putting it towards the option. Okay. So what happens is you get to keep the 10 grand and you, and when you, when they give you $10,000 down, the balance is $200,000. Right. So he's giving you $10,000, which is by the way, 5%, which is very customary down. And all you're doing here is just you're buying an option agreement for $100 and selling it for $10,000. You don't own the property. You don't do a closing. You don't do anything. You don't need to be a genius. You don't have to do anything. If you've ever rented a house before, you could do this. All you're doing, what you're getting paid for, is to find the buyer and find the seller. The house has nothing to do with it. It's just a device for, for these people to, to do this paperwork. So in a slot deal, so it's a sandwich lease option transfer. So you're gonna write an option agreement for 210,000 or 200,000 when you buy it. <clears throat> and, and you're gonna pay, you're gonna write a lease for thousand dollars a month. You're gonna take that lease and that option and you're gonna, when you find your buyer, you're gonna write an assignment, which is a one page document. And you're gonna assign all that obligations, which in this, in this lease, you're gonna have all the language about how they plow the snow, they cut the grass, all that stuff is gonna be in this lease. You're gonna assign this paperwork from, from you to them. And you make money doing it. 